for Jules Koundé and Alex Balde in for Serginho Dest. Courtois in goal, he's missed the first couple of games due to a minor injury. He returns. And so fans no doubt delighted that Yukai Gundogan is on board. Such a composed figure in midfield. And he's been talking about being accustomed to his teammates to their way of playing, and of course it's the other way around as well. Pedri wants to get on the ball. Gundogan supporting just behind, and here's Balde. Took a little deflection. Lewandowski was in there, and it's a fierce try by Oriol Romeo. Looked as though that was going in. Being part of the discussion, exactly what his role with the Brazilian national team is going to be in the short term. That's a really good hit from Romeo. You cannot hit a ball any cleaner than that. Courtois is already late. It's a so clean. Christensen, Gundogan, they go to Pedri, and catching out Real Madrid here, and there's Dembele with the opening goal for Barcelona. A sure-footed finish from Usman Dembele. Joy for the ball, and Dembele managing to slot it home past Courtois. Beautiful set play from Barcelona, and it is indeed a set play. You think that Pedri is the one taking the shot on? No, he's only attracting attention, and a whole lot of ball watching going on from Real Madrid. Nobody running with Manny Dembele, who says, thank you, I'm gonna take the first touch forward, second touch to the far post. Beautiful, gorgeous finish. For Manny Dembele, Barcelona, one nothing. Now, well, Xavi, a piece in La Liga, last season in the Clasico matches. Which is Real Madrid trying to set something up using Valverde here and right across the face of goal and they're asking the question about possible handball and it's a penalty. A penalty to Real Madrid, protestations from Barcelona. But they were fully convinced. Rose wearing white. Shami's expression tells you the story. Well, an overall. <laughs> Pointing to an imaginary screen, or at least with the gesture, but this is what happened, Alec. Can't quite see it there, and that looks like an arm extended away from the body. 100% a penalty. It's good service from Valverde. Again, Jude Bellingham, a presence inside the AK now. Vinicius Junior. In position here. They scored earlier. Oh, he's missed it, Vinicius. Aye, aye, aye. Now to convert. Ter Stegen already dove out of position. Vinny Jr. just can't keep it down. Look at things. Alaba just off to the side. Rodrigo! And that's Ter Stegen. Put to work. Common theme for Real Madrid. If there is a cross coming inside the 18 yard box, the player who's most likely to get in the end of it is going to be Jude Bellingham. Really good save from Ter Stegen. Strong hand, stretch hand. For the shooting department. It's a couple of weeks away from the start of the Primera season. Some flag had gone up. And Lewandowski tries to finish anyway, but the flag had been raised. That run is open for Dembele whenever he wants it. Getting inside and behind Real Madrid. So he gets inside of Mendy. Comes from Calavinga. Bit of hesitancy there. Bellingham to put in the biting challenge. There's Vinicius Junior. And off the underside of the bar. And is it going to go in finally? Danny Carvajal was there. So to Bellingham. And the referee has given a corner. Wow. Well, where do we start? Well, Alan Chapman shooting over here. Now, what's he going to do? There's a yellow card for somebody on the touchline. One of the team officials. Well, the complaint from Barcelona is that as Bellingham comes in for the header, he goes through Marc Andre Ter Stegen. They're complaining of a foul there. But in terms of the totality of the play, good turn from Vinny Jr. hits it well off the crossbar and out. It's a broken play. 
It's a good hit. Is it in? No, it is not. And then Bellingham jumps on the rebound, seems to run through Ter Stegen. Eventually off the pose and off the line, and somehow we're still 1 nothing. Somehow, indeed. And around that one for Lewandowski to go after. Oh, and it's all of a sudden up and up for Dempele. Courtois to the rescue for Real Madrid. Couldn't seem to be very much on. And the challenge is flying in now, and the referee is going to have to take control of this. He's got the yellow card out anyway. Goodness me. Pandemonium. And it's settled down a bit. And you could feel it, Derek. You could feel it. You could sense it that it was getting out of control. Alan Chapman was trying to be all cool about it. Here's your yellow card. No, no, no. At some point, you got to get a hold of the game because otherwise, these guys are going to run away with it. It's getting out of control. The challenges are getting out of control. They don't care if it's preseason or not. If somebody gets kicked, somebody else is going to get kicked. We have seen the continuation of foul after foul after foul. It is a late challenge from Frankie de Jong. It is worthy of a yellow card. He knows exactly what he's doing. The game is out of control now. As to what the opportunity was for Dembele, comes from Fernand Mendy, who comes off balance, and Dembele just doesn't hit it well. Hits it straight into the ground, which then allows Courtois to get big and make the save. It was Mendy's error, and there was Dembele. Courtois. Ball can, somebody can get on the end of it. Spencer from Fran Garcia is possessing Dembele. Vinicius Jr. Trying to hold it up. There you go. His attacking partner. Germany! Oh! Well, somehow, Ter Stegen was able to touch it. Schuermeni certainly had eyes for goal. A wry smile from Mark and Peter Stegen. And we said that Schuermeni can hit it from this and lined it up. Hits it well off the post, off the back of the head of Ter Stegen, and somehow, again, still one nothing. <laughs> Getafe, the first game, uh, Madrid and Bilbao against Athletic Club. Rafinha with this corner, and almost got in the way of each other there. Sufati trying to feed it back. And it's held by Courtois. Chiuameni. The press was on from Rafinha and company. Fermin Lopez! Oh! Absolutely magnificent! And that should put the seal on it. What a hit it was! Fermin Lopez. Oh, he won't forget that moment in a hurry. Real Madrid had switched off. And it looks as though it's going to be three out of three for Barcelona in terms of El Clasico on US soil. And it's a good press initially from Ansu Fati. Good step by Sergio Roberto. And then Fermin Lopez doesn't hesitate, takes that first touch forward and says, you know what? This is my moment. I don't know if I'll get on the field in La Liga play. I don't know if I'm going to play El Clásico in La Liga. But I'm going to play El Clásico today, and I'm going to make a difference today. What a hit this. Can he pick out? The answer is Jose Lu, but he failed to nod that onto the target. Not very Jose Lu-like. That's been the story for Real Madrid today. They have created enough opportunities in the matchup, but that final product just hasn't been there. Now, let me just tell you, this is optional defending by Barcelona. Who do you have to pick up if you're Barcelona defensively? Yeah, the big guy in the middle. How about you pick him up? Nobody anywhere near around Jose Lu. What a chance that was. Sergio Roberto trying to make his way back and take care of Jose Lu. Nick Garcia was off to the side. A minimum of four added minutes. As Barca look for a third. And Ferran Torres, is he going to do it? He does. There it is. 3 0. Barcelona victorious here in the USA in El Clasico. And Ferran Torres 
savors the moment, a matter of making sure he made contact with the ball, steering it home, and it's good night, Real Madrid. And how about Fermín López? What a ball this is. Over the top of David Alaba, and then that first touch from Ferran Torres is what makes the difference. Thibaut Courtois all over him. He knows he just has to put it over the top of Thibaut Courtois, and then the presence of mind to put the final touch. Fermín López, who knew? Yeah. Ferran Torres, who knew? Game, set, match.